Vote counting is underway in the West African country of Benin. More than 4.5 million people registered to elect their new president. 33 candidates are hoping to take the helm from the current president. And as CCTV's Katerina Vatazzi discovered, there's a whole range of issues that voters want tackled. A week later than planned, but finally here. Voters in Benin queued to choose who they wanted to take over from President Thomas Boniyayi. At this polling station, one voter drew a lot of attention. Lionel Zinzu is a presidential candidate, one of the favorites out of the 33 people running. I really hope that all my countrymen will come out to vote, and I hope that we can continue with the same peaceful, serene atmosphere that we've had all week. Observers reported delays in the opening of about a third of polling stations. But at this voting centre in the economic capital Cotonou, voters waited patiently to cast their ballot. Everything's gone pretty smoothly. Lots of people have come out to vote. It was a bit difficult to find the polling station. I've not seen any problems at all. In my opinion, it's a very important day. Changes to the electoral procedures were being made even at the very last minute in order to allow as many registered voters as possible to come and cast their vote. There have been severe delays and problems delivering and printing voter ID cards. So late on Saturday, the Electoral Commission said that anyone who had registered but not received their new cards could use their voter ID cards from last year's parliamentary elections. It means that many people who thought they weren't going to be able to come to the polls today have in fact been able to in order to make their choice for president. And there's high expectations amongst voters for whoever is next to lead the country. The new president must be someone who knows his country, kind, loves his people, and knows the problems that the people have. The new president must address youth unemployment. There are many unemployed. We want to work. Many young people in this country are struggling. The president must bring peace, jobs, and services, because those things aren't great right now. Counting is now underway in more than 10,000 voting centres across the country. Provisional results are expected mid-next week. Katerina Vitozzi, CCTV, Cotonou, Benin.